to record a video explaining how to do some relatively advanced uh, PowerPoint skills, because if I don't record it, I will absolutely forget it two months from now. So the most important thing about PowerPoint that you have to remember is that it is very powerful, but it hides absolutely everything that is not super simple to do. So for example, you know you can add things here, and once you add a couple of shapes, you get the option to like bring to front and send to back and stuff like that. Like doing this, bring to front, so it, it comes to the front. But how do you see all that layering? Like that, that's not visible by default. You have to go here to the select thing here and go to the selection pane. And here you can see this list. And this list actually gives you the Z ordering for it. So if you drag things around, you can change what goes in front and what goes behind. Like the thing at the top will be in front and, you know, goes down from there. Um, and also if you group things together, the grouping shows up here. So you can like analyze the grouping and hide things from view so that they don't clutter everything. Uh, it, it's super convenient. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the animations, because there's many f features in PowerPoint that are hidden, that are not visible immediately. And they, most of it is in the animation pane for animations. So here you can see that this is set up to start on click. So the video that we have here will start whenever we click on it. So if we start the presentation there, it doesn't do anything. But if we change this and right click and say start with previous here, then it will start whenever we start the presentation. So the video will start to do things, right? Now, the important thing about videos is that one of the important things I want to say is that the playback thing here allows you to do a bunch of things. You can trim the video so that it's shorter or just shows some area of the video. And this is amazing, the bookmark system. So you can add bookmarks to the video and you can also remove a bookmark. But you can say, for example, you start playing your video here and you say, oh, I want this point to trigger something in the presentation. So you can add a bookmark and then you can say, well, I want this thing to fly in from the left whenever we reach this point in the video. So we go to animations and we say fly in like that. Uh, but we want this to happen whenever we reach that break, that uh, uh, bookmark, sorry. So we go to timing and here there's a triggers section. And you can say start effect on play of this bookmark. And you say okay. But also it says here on click and we don't want that. What we want is start with previous. So at this point we start the video and whenever the video gets there it will trigger the animation and this thing will come in. So let's say that we want this other thing to come in right after this one does. So we can do that simply by adding an animation, like another fly-in animation to this, and by dragging it here under the other um, animation that we had. So here we can also change the way it starts. So instead of start on click, we can say start after previous, and then they will show up one after the other. So you get the first animation coming in, and then the second one. This is super convenient to be able to trigger things and have nice animations in, in PowerPoint. And also here you can change a lot of things like effect options, smooth start or smooth end. So it, it slows down as it comes to, to the final position, or you can change a delay here. So you can add a two second delay, for example, so that whenever the first animation happens, the second one uh, takes a bit to, to trigger. And here you can see in this animation pane, you can see this timeline where the initial animation happens, then there's two seconds of nothing, and then another two seconds of the second animation. So if we trigger this, you see the video, and then first animation, we wait two seconds, second animation. 
So this is extremely powerful to, to do things. But there is one thing that was still is still um, a problem is that we don't know how to add several animations because if we click here on I don't know uh, fade for example let's say I want to fly it in and then fade it out for example uh, fade out is this one so if we do that it will replace the previous animation like we don't have the fly in anymore so if, if I undo that what we actually want to do is to click on add animation and then fade and what this will do is creates another animation that we can drag into our timeline and say start after previous so at this point what we will have is that the square will fly in and then fade out let's see and fly in and fade out so yeah that's all i wanted to say um in this add an uh, add animation thing there's a bunch of things like the the lines motion path is super useful for moving things uh, one place to another and the custom path is just you can just define a spline and do whatever the hell you want so it's also nice and yeah that is pretty much all i wanted to say so thanks for watching bye